It's just a zombie burning there. <laughs> this is just, I was about to start an intro and I just see a zombie burning in the middle of nowhere. Come on, zombie. Uh, he died. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Minecraft. Yay, I'm playing Minecraft now as well. It is a sun another wonderful sunset in my Minecraft world. As you can see, I'm kind of already decked out, full diamond armor, a trident, and a lot of building. Now, I'm not very creative, but I have got quite a few stuff already. As you can see, there is a broken down mob farm. That's just an all-purpose mob farm. I have um, mostly destroyed the entire top of it, and I'm rebuilding it to look cooler because it kind of sucked. Uh, I probably should have started off by saying I'm just giving a tour in this episode. Like, I'm just going to show you around my base because, well, I don't know. What, oh, there's a lot of cows there. Yeah, I've just got a... Why is there a cow all the way over there? How the hell did that cow get there? Hmm. Mysteries of the Earth. This is going to be my villager trading hall. I've got a, a room here where they... Well, you know. And then I'm going to have these little cubicles for them. I'm going to have three here and more over there. I kind of like it. Mm, this place is made completely out of white concrete. And white concrete sucks to get. And now... Uh, sorry, cow. <laughs> I just kind of killed that cow off for no reason. Now I've got a lot of cows, but I've usually got more. And this cow over here has made his way to my horse, Feldar. My horse's name is Feldar, and I found diamond armor and uh, diamond horse armor in the Nether, so he's wearing that now. Uh, I'm gonna name this cow. Don't know what to name him yet. He has a wheat farm. There's a tree farm. Very boring stuff. And he has another farm. Pretty useful. There's sugarcane. My house is very boring. Like, I know this. It's pretty much just a wooden block. And I've got a square of fire. Just for no reason. And I've got this building, which is chests. I, okay, so I'll admit I did a lot of AFK fishing. Maybe too much AFK fishing, like I have got an insane amount of stuff from AFK fishing. I don't AFK fish anymore because I've got just too much stuff, but yeah, also, this is the master chicken. He is the greatest. He will lead us all to glory. I named him so that he doesn't despawn. Or, um, but my fox still tries and kills him. Uh, here's my bed. Here's my little house. It's pretty boring. Uh, this is Rickshaw. Just like the cutest thing ever. This is so freaking cute. Here's Shane. He is becoming an alchemist, apparently. I don't know why, but for some reason he just decided to sit here by the alchemy thing. So, he's now the resident alchemist. Oh, this is uh, the rest of my base. Uh, just ignore this redstone. It is... I don't know how to cover it up. So it's kind of just there. Uh, this is my AFK fishing place. It's pretty small. And there's a lot of chests. With hoppers into the... And I think it goes up to here. So that's why I'm not going to AFK fish anymore. Because I've just got way too much stuff. And yeah, it's just a tree. I wanted to, uh, apparently foxes sleep under trees, but I don't think they sleep under birch trees. He has a lot of redstone. Uh, this took me a while to figure out. There used to be, uh, a farm here, uh, sugarcane farm. And it made a lot of sugarcane. But I had to destroy it, make way for all this redstone. Now I'm pretty sure you can hear that noise. Uh, these are my two villagers. I tried making a villager hall over here, but it didn't work. It's just these two. And for some reason, they don't want to have a child. And then there's another room in there that 
It just does nothing. I don't know why I made this room. I can't remember. But yeah. And they are both maxed. I mean, they give me pretty good stuff. Mo I mostly just buy lanterns off this guy. That's why I've got lanterns everywhere. And this guy I used to sell my rotten flesh. And I made that little system to get out there. Oh, I've also got a lot of emerald. <laughs> I've got 12 emerald blocks because I don't buy that often from them. And this is my diamond barrel. As you can see, I've got a ton of diamonds. I've got a fortune 3 pickaxe. And it is insane. This is my little pond for doing my concrete. So, that's there because my pickaxe doesn't go through dirt and then I've got a melon and pumpkin farm made a lot of melons I only recently acquired pumpkins I went um, here's my nether portal I don't have a nether hub really but I got a lot of nether wart because my alchemist buys it and my mine goes uh, all the way down there I don't have anything else down there in my mine I was trying to put a chicken farm over there didn't work because my fox would go in and kill them all and then get stuck. So now you might be wondering what this lever is for. Stairs! This is what all that redstone down there is for. It's just these stairs, which goes up to my minimum. Why do I have a chest here? Oh, right, yeah. This is my melon and pumpkin farm. It looks pretty cool with all the white. Um, and it's pretty uh, useful makes enough melons and pumpkins I can't remember how I got pumpkins but I think I was exploring very far away and I happened to find a pumpkin which is pretty useful I should probably put a button in here but if I put a button in here then this thing is only out very shortly so the lever works well enough and there's Rickshaw Who's so cute. I've also got three tridents. All of them have mending. This one's channeling, this one's unbreaking, but other than that, they're the same. They've both got loyalty. And I've got a powerful ass shovel. I use my shovel way too much. Which is why I have to seriously start working on. start finishing my. Also, I've got a conduit. This took me ages to get. But I got a lot of um, Nautilus shells from AFK Fishing. So I've got a ton of Nautilus shells. Uh, also, there's this, just this giant dome over here. And then at one time, I went out looking for treasures from treasure maps that I found. Because this, this uh, spawn is seriously good. There's a shipwreck there, a shipwreck there, like four shipwrecks over there, three more over there. And there's two guardian farms over there, and I think there's another guardian farm somewhere over that way. Oh, underwater temple. I want to make a guardian farm. That's going to take forever. And there's another couple of shipwrecks that way. So I got an insane amount of shipwrecks. So I went out and I got four Heart of the Seas at once. So this, I hollowed out. It was all sand. Originally it was all sand. And I just had this boring wooden mob farm. I mean, it works. It works well enough. Well, it works well enough. Because I had two layers. I had this layer, and then I had another layer up there, which just had holes through so that from the top they'd fall through. But I am planning on making something a lot better. Um... Not sure if you can see it, but I'll put a picture up on screen of how it's going to look eventually. So yeah. So I also wanted to have like a little entrance here. Like an underwater entrance. So I thought I'd need a lot of redstone to build the thing. And then I remembered you can actually get 2x2 uh, two two piston doors pretty freaking easily. They are super easy to construct. So, yeah. 
that this is not just a big room, but a very, very big antechamber. This is all the stuff that I had. Uh, this is sand that I dug out. This is just stuff that I brought over that I thought I'd need for the redstone. And then there's a ton of drops from my mob farm. My mob farm was seriously successful. It was pretty freaking efficient because it's in the middle of the ocean so no mobs really spawn. Drown don't spawn if you're standing by the mob farm for some reason. So that made it was really good. I'd come over here and in like 20 minutes I'd go from no levels to 20 levels give or take. Then over there is just a farm. Uh, not a farm. Uh, I'm planning on moving all my cows there so from my cows that are over there I'm planning on moving here. I've got a few sheep here because I needed the bed for my village of trading. I've killed a sheep. I this uh, a riptide trident is not very good for me. Apparently, it's making me kill all my animals today. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of sheep. God, I'm killing everything. Jeez. So that is mostly my base. I have got a lot of stuff already. Because I've been playing this game non-stop since I got it. So, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, I should probably say my some of my plans for the future. So, obviously, my mob farm. I have to make that. But that is going to take an insane amount of resources. Like, I decided to make it all out of polished granite. And I'm going to need a ton of polished granite because the one I built, it isn't even built completely and I can already tell it's using like way too much. And um, I need prismarine for the top and I've got a lot of sea lanterns that I need for that design. It is a lot of work. And then of course there's my villager trading hall. I know this is probably not the best design, but I couldn't find a design that I wanted. So I'm making it all out of that. Now I've got a lot of sand. I just need a lot of um, gravel. And so I have to do a lot of shov shoveling. But my shovel is almost destroyed. So I first gotta make my mob farm before I can make my. before I can go shoveling. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tour, and this is that. That's it. Goodbye.